while considering which reservoir to make a downstream water supply release from, management decisions have to be made to operate these reservoirs effectively. Typically, the larger reservoirs in the system are used to supply the large downstream users in the lower basin. These reservoirs include Possum Kingdom Granberry, Whitney Belton, Stillhouse Hollow, Limestone, and Somerville. The smaller reservoirs, which includes Lakes Proctor, Georgetown, Granger, and Aquila, are typically excluded you know, from these large, larger top operations for the lower basin group. The storage in those reservoirs are preserved for local use only. The decision process for water supply operations starts with giving consideration to our release constraints. These are the legal and physical limitations that we can't operate outside of. The legal constraints are typically outlined in BRA's water rights, our water right permits, uh, the contracts with the Corps of Engineers, and contractual agreements. Physical limitations such as how the outlet gates are constructed or the, elevate, the actual elevation of the outlet structures can impact the ability to release certain volumes of water through any particular dam at certain elevations. Once we know we're operating within the limits of our release constraints, we can start taking into consideration other factors, such as the location of the reservoir. It's typically more efficient to use your uppermost reservoir last. We'll also consider evaporative efficiency of a reservoir. We'll also consider the amount of remaining reservoir storage and, uh, and, and our drought tip triggers, which are defined in our drought contingency plan. We'll consider the firm yield also remaining in the reservoir, taking into account the amount of local needs or demands on that reservoir. This is the amount of water that we know we could use from a particular reservoir in any given year, considering the worst drought on record without completely running out of water. Other things we consider are Whitney hydropower operations, travel times and channel losses, lakeside intake elevations, and Although the primary purpose of the BRA water supply system is for water supply, an effort is also made during operations to avoid negative environmental and recreational impacts. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into this decision process. Overall, operational decisions made by BRA are largely driven by Mother Nature. Of course, our release plans have to be flexible to account for the unpredictability of the climate 